Alright guys, come on, so welcome back to the Chris so 67 on FIFA 40 on next gen. And the Premier League ended on Sunday with Liverpool finishing second while Man City won the Premier League title. Fucking painful to watch that. Nah, no, but seriously, I honestly want that fucking good to be honest. I mean, I thought I'd be miles more devastated than I was, but I realised Liverpool had an absolutely sensational season, seriously, because finishing second when we was fucking seventh last season, and to be honest, I didn't even think we were finishing the fucking top four, to be honest, seriously, because we had fucking Aspas and fucking Victor Moses. Oh, Victor Moses. I'm so glad he's fucked off now. How the fuck did we just finish two points behind Man City with this shit cut on the bench? I don't know. It's a fucking Fucking miracle is there it is that we even got in the fucking top four. Never mind fucking second and two points behind fucking Man City on my way. It's just what Brendan Rodgers has fucking done with his fucking squad we've had. It's just unbelievable. It really is. There's no words for it. Just imagine how what we're gonna fucking do next season with fucking players like Lalana. Oh Lalana and fucking great players like that and not shit guns like Victor Moses. I feel sorry for you Chelsea fans because you'll be seeing Victor Moses in your fucking squad next season. How's Mourinho take Moses out into the fucking desert? And fucking bury him there because he's such a useless gun and he I see some people laughing at Liverpool in Jordan if I were you I'd be fucking worried about Liverpool to be honest seriously because with the fucking right plays next season Liverpool are going to be absolutely exceptional what well, led to Liverpool finishing second and Man City winning it because I think this season has been an absolutely phenomenal season and like I said on Twitter we're going to win the fucking Champions League next season son right what's best next to shoot their fucking man Shoot Royce! Yes, my go Royce! Jeremy's my beautiful fucking man! Let me kiss you, son! Cross it, Lalan, eh? Give it a storage! Oh, hey, there for me! Come here, just fucking look storage out there! Oh, look at this, eh? What a shit that was! Oh, beautiful Bartel, the way, son! Shoot Bartelli! Oh, the fucking boss! Yes, that's a great win! Yesterday, Rio Ferdinand came out and said he's leaving Manchester United, so I thought I'd show you Legends, my favourite Rio Ferdinand moment. That was an absolutely sensational tackle from Patrice Heffer there. What a fucking tackle. I have to admit, a few years ago, Rio Ferdinand used to be an absolute exceptional defender. But now he's just absolutely dog shit, and he fucking how bad is Man United's defence, seriously. They've got fucking Philip Jones, Chris Smalling, fucking Rio Ferdinand, who's past it. Rachel's leaving, who's past it as well. And fucking everyone's past it as well. Rio Ferdinand's about fucking 65 years old. What led to Rio Ferdinand leaving Manchester United because Man United won't even miss him, to be honest because he's been a shit gun over the last few years and he's just not that good, he's too old. The only good thing we have Fernand does these days is supply me with fucking cocaine. Right, we've got Heather next, it's just a fucking crumpets up their ass. Shoot Lalana! Oh, go on Bartley! Oh, shoot Sturridge! Oh, go on, go on Bartley! Yes, Balotelli! The Italian hell of a motherfucking brick shit house. Yes, it's a fantastic win. The other day Manchester United bid it 27 million for Luke Shaw and today it got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just had to laugh like a fucking old man when he had because paying that much for a fucking 18 year old, that's just fucked up, lad. There's no other words for it. Apparently, Southampton won 35 fucking million for him. And it looks like Man United are gonna fucking pay as well. Fucking hell. Just shows you how desperate Man United are these days. Trust me, I know all about fucking 35 million transfers. I remember we said that pony to let fucking donkey Andy Carroll. And I still have fucking nightmares about it. I wake up with fucking nosebleeds just thinking about it. Just look at his face. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Seriously, it's 
should be going to fucking prison for that hairstyle there. Looks like fucking Justin Bieber there. It's a disgrace. Watch this for the man that possibly sat and looked short for 35 minutes because I think that's absolute fucking madness. Just imagine if he turns out to be a fucking donkey like Carol was for us. If I was in my life and that happened, I'd probably put a fucking shotgun bullet in my house though because I know from experience signing a fucking flop like Andy Carroll or any youngster for a 35 minute fucking scars you for life. We've got Champions League matches, it's just a fucking spotted dick up their ass. Give it, Balotelli! Yes, Balotelli! You have a shit brick house tight Oh, for fuck's sake, I mean the entire brick shit house. No way, re referee! Why you got the ball, ref? Referee got the fucking ball! Hey, you better miss this, son! Wee, how the fuck did he miss that? What the fuck was that? Oh, hey, referee, that was an absolutely delightful tackle. Oh, ref, referee, should I yell a cat up your ass, son? Oh, look at this tackle. That is an absolutely phenomenal tackle. Shoot Gundawan. Yes, Gundawan. Oh, beautiful. Shoot Royce. Yes, Marco Royce. He's such a blonde, beautiful bastard. Yes, it's a sensational win. Apparently, Chelsea have agreed a deal to San Diego. Cost of a 32 million. Well, the Chelsea fans started fucking breakdancing when they heard that. Chelsea have been absolutely begging for a top striker. And I'll tell you what, how fucking go with the Premier League be with Diego Costa in it? Seriously, fucking Luis Suarez, Sergio Aguero, Daniel Sturridge and Diego Costa in the same fucking league. Oh my fucking word. He's a right mad bastard. You should see some of the shit he's done in the past. And that's why I love, I absolutely love mad bastards. That's why I love Luis Suarez and plays like that. But no Pepe though, he can fuck off him. He's just a massive gun. And then he had a fucking stroke when I saw how much they're buying him for. 32 million? What an absolute fucking bargain. I can just imagine it now the amount of fucking boxing matches this guy's gonna have on the fucking bitch in the Premier League next season. What do you think the Chelsea San Diego cost for 32 million? Because that's an absolute bargain. And I hate to say it, but Chelsea are winning the fucking league next season. Looks like I'm gonna have to blow my fucking brains out next season when that happens because I fucking, I'll just imagine Mourinho's fucking face when they win the league. Uh I prefer not to speak, really. I prefer not to speak. We got swanted ex the bastards to death with some fucking fish and chips. Look at this ref! Referee, that's absolutely a fucking stackle! How can he do that to the gorgeous bastard, Fabio Barini? It's a disgrace! Go on, Pogba, you lanky brick shitters! Go on, Pogba! Yes, Pogba! What a fucking free kick! Oh my word! He's such a lanky brick shithouse! What is it? Just went for the last bazaar's all in! What the fuck? Oh, Balzac! Oh, beautiful! Shoe Sturridge! Yes, Daniel Sturridge! Oh, look at this for a 10! Look at this! What a shit goal that is! How the fuck did he save that? Yes, that's an exceptional win! But anyways, you have a great day and see you later!